are talking to Anjali, is it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, Anjali, you are from Bhopal? Ma'am, I am from Indore. Indore. So, why is Indore known as the, I mean, the bigger city in Adhya Pradesh? Have you heard about it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, there are um, many reasons. Um, yeah. One is the population of Indore, um, which is around now uh, 36 lakh. Uh, okay. as per the recent surveys and uh, ma'am secondly it's <coughs> economically it's the financial capital of the Madhya Pradesh mm. the Madhya Pradesh stock exchange is in Indore and uh, ma'am thirdly uh, it's becoming now the software and the IT hub also of Madhya Pradesh where most of the investments companies so it's growing um, exponentially why is it called a mini Bombay they call it mini Bombay right yes ma'am mm. Ma'am, from what I uh, think, there are two reasons. One is a uh, geographical reason of the proximity of Indore, which is in the southwestern Madhya Pradesh to Bombay. Mm. And secondly, ma'am, uh, since Bombay has the stock exchange of the country, uh, Indore has uh, Madhya Pradesh stock exchange. So, right. So, uh, have you heard of nanotechnology? Yes, ma'am. What is it about? Ma'am, uh, nanotechnology is um, that technology in which uh, we deal with uh, things at the nano scale, which is of 10 to the power minus 9 uh, scale. And uh, ma'am, this is a revolutionary technology. Uh, it has various applications in health, um, in fact, in technological aspect also. So, mm. there's huge research potential in this emerging field. Right. So, uh, you heard of robotic surgery, right? The latest yes. robotic surgery. They use robots for surgery, medical. So, uh, what's so good about robotic surgery? Ma'am, um, with respect to um, robotic surgery, um, I think uh, more precision can be achieved as compared to a human hand. Um, Are they using it in India, the robots? Are they using in India? Ma'am, I've heard of a um, few, uh, few robots being used, but I'm not very sure on the scale of it being used. No, they use it for cardiac and other surgeries. They are using. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, ma so, tell me, I read about robots in home use, you know, household. Hmm. They are using robots in some places. Yes, ma'am. So, what do they do? Have you heard? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, in the normal usage, uh, mostly the domestic works, mm. um, like probably the cleaning and the other uh, human human work is being replaced. And ma'am, at a societal uh, level also, we are seeing their usage in terms of uh, cleaning the sewage. Uh, there's a bandicoot re robot prepared by IIT Madras, mm. which has been uh, in place replacing the manual scavenging. Okay. So, uh I am told that robots are used in home care, like a child is alone, mm. yes, suppose, and they leave the robot and the child and they lock the house. So, the robot manages the child. Is it good or bad? Ma'am, hmm? ma'am, um, in my opinion, uh, when there is a child, um, the first thing that it needs is the care and the emotional touch with the parents and with the loved ones. And with robots, this is a limitation. They might be able to um, take the care as they are programmed for, but they are only programmed for the things they have been fed into. And taking the care of a child um, involves nuances that one might not even think of. So in those situations, a robot might not perform to the best of its ability. Okay, let's shift to Afghanistan. Of late, Afghanistan is in the news. Yes, ma'am. So, what is your view on the Indian foreign policy, Afghanistan and neighboring country? Ma'am, with respect to India's stance in Afghanistan, uh, we have not recognized the uh, Taliban government yet, though we are providing the humanitarian assistance and support to Afghanistan. Uh, recently, there was a, a 50,000 uh, tons of wheat that India has supplied via Pakistan to them. And ma'am, uh, India is continuing the talks with Taliban uh, because primarily we don't want to lose out on the entire situation as Russia, China, Pakistan uh, and other countries are involved. 
and secondly we are also concerned of taliban not using the ground for terrorists against india so tell me are we building something in pak in sorry in afghanistan are we building a certain infrastructure ma'am uh, we have had built the salma dam uh, the okay. shahtoot dam and even their parliament of parliament. afghanistan yes ma'am right sir Anjali, you are from Indore. Yes, sir. Indore has become a symbol of cleanliness. Right, sir. I think five years continuously it has been getting cleanest right. award. What do you think? Is it uh, uh, because of proactive administration, civic administration, municipal bodies' uh, initiative, or people's participation? Sir, um, Indore's cleanliness journey is. Um, not just the contribution of any one pillar i would say it is the citizenry which has been very very responsible and they have taken up it as a challenge to not lose that number one position and at the same time the proactive municipal administration mm -hmm. has also uh, created awareness and so they have worked round the clock 24/7 ensuring that the city remains clean um they have they have been four phases sir when i tried to know uh there was a clear path that the administration charted out okay, and uh, so, uh, in any way you have also contributed to this as a citizen of uh, indore in what way sir um the most important part in uh, of the cleanliness starts at the home which is the source segregation of waste yeah, if that is done the rest of the process becomes very smooth so in our home sir we have kept uh, four different kinds of uh, bins where we segregate the waste okay, and we good. make sure that uh, it is done now this outstanding success uh, of indore has been uh, replicated in other parts of madhya pradesh also other cities like ujjain or uh, bhopal sir bhopal has been uh, uh, catching up with indore mm -hmm, and uh, it has been featuring also in the swachh sarvekshan ranks uh, sir other cities uh, are trying to um, copy the best practices but there is a long way still good no anjali mp also has the largest number of tribal population yes sir it is number 1 in the country yes sir so tell me something about the tribal culture socio economic conditions and what government of uh, mp with the help of government of india scheme is doing for their welfare right sir uh, madhya pradesh has the largest number of tribal population in the country and we have three uh, primitively vulnerable tribal groups as well uh, the major groups being the bheels the saharias gonds uh, residing and it's mostly the eastern part of madhya pradesh where uh, we find the tribal people so regarding the tribal culture um, i would say it is one of the unique uh, types they have the ghotul system uh, which is a special kind of system which they follow for marriage Uh, sir gond tribes are particularly famous for their cleanliness aspect and sir uh, their artistic skills is something which is very unique to the tribals the paintings which they make okay uh, and the kind of artwork that they are good at um, and sir government of uh, madhya pradesh along with the government of india so they have been uh, providing support in terms of education which is the eklavya model residential schools yeah. are being set up Uh, so with respect to health uh, there are various ngos and civil societies uh, who are uh, trying to even in the covid vaccination they made the tribals aware about the same and sir trifed is playing an important role uh, mm -hmm. in marketing the tribal produce so what mechanism institutional mechanism government of india has developed to reach uh, financial assistance to tribal is there any plan or something have you heard of anything yes sir uh, so we have had the tribal sub plans sub, sub plan. yes yeah, sir okay. right my next question uh, anjali have you heard of this dark web what is the dark web sir um dark web is that part of internet which is uh, normally not accessible through the simple browsers so uh, if i say there are three layers so first layer is the layer which a normal user can access and see the information but under the dark web Uh, we cannot uh, process it through the normal browsers like google chrome there are special browsers like tor browser so is it legal to access uh, dark web sir i'm uh, not sure about the okay. that part sir no no problem so my last question uh, anjali india is the largest fifth largest economy in the world fifth largest yes as of 
today. Right. Uh, so you tell me why India is still a developing country. We, despite being the fifth largest economy, we are still yes, a developing country. What is the reason? Sir, um, we are fifth largest economy in terms of the GDP. And sir, um, one major limitation of GDP calculation is that it doesn't consider um, the social uh, aspect, the environmental aspect. Uh, it is only limited to the financial and the economic development of a country. If we consider a holistic development, sir, I think India has a lot of uh, potential to bridge in terms of education, literacy, sir, our health indicators, especially the infant mortality rate, maternal mortality. Sir, uh, there we have to uh, cover a lot and also in terms of environment. So, so that it is anything to do with the per capita income also, GDP per capita Yes, GDP. sir, it, it has to do with that as well. Thank you, Anjali. Thank you, sir. sir. So, uh, Anjali, UK Prime Minister is in India. Right, sir. So, in what manner ever since he landed here and the kind of engagements he has, what benefit will India get from his visit? Sir, um, uh, the UK Prime Minister has landed and uh, there are uh, talks about investments in uh, various sectors ranging from uh, health, industries and even software and the IT sector. Um, sir, there are, uh, we are going to negotiate on FTA and trade deals worth uh, 1 billion dollar and the UK Prime Minister has also uh, applauded India for being the second largest investor in United Kingdom. So he has heralded this as a new phase of India-UK partnership. The post-Brexit, uh, I think UK also uh, is looking for partners and India can be one of them. And so we have convergence areas like Indo-Pacific, where even UK stands for a free and open Indo-Pacific. And so in defense also, they have told to provide us with the machinery along with technology of transfer. Okay. Khargon is in Madhya Pradesh. Yes, sir. And you know what happened. If you had been DM of Kargon, would, would you have used the bulldozer the second day after the communal tension? <clears throat> Sir, um, the communal violence that happened was unfortunate. And had I been the DM, Sir, um, I would have first uh, served a notice if there are any illegal encroachments. And so secondly, as the law says, there have to be a chance given to the people uh, to come and to prove the documents if they have. I would have looked uh, into the relevant documents if they have had that. And sir, if uh, there was any legal encroachment, uh, then probably sir, I would have uh, went according with the law, whatever the law would have. Uh, Suppose the notices and natural justice, everything had already been completed before the demolition drive took place the next day. In that case, what would have been your decision? Sir, um, I think the timing of the two uh, issues is very important. And uh, even if they were unlinked, uh, they would be seen to be linked. And uh, in my case, sir, I could have delayed it because it would have further flared up the communal tensions. Good. Anjali, you have heard of plug and play model? Plug and play. Yes, sir, I have heard. Um, in terms of infrastructure, we have been talking about an investment, sir. Good. So, can you think of any any major <coughs> plug and play model infrastructure project in uh, in Madhya Pradesh coming up? I'm there sorry, is sir. one yes. Vikram uh, Udyog Puri in Ujjain. I'm sorry, sir. You are not aware of that. It doesn't it. matter. My last question: India has been using food grain diplomacy these days. Can you elaborate? And what are the advantages? And what are what has happened in the food grain diplomacy over the last two weeks? Sir, um, it is in the context of the Russia-Ukraine war, um, wherein Russia and Ukraine combinedly uh, produced around 25 to 30 percent of the wheat. They are the wheat baskets of the world. And with the war, there has been a wheat shortage across the world. And sir, India is one of the countries which uh, has excess of wheat. So, in the Northwest Africa, particularly in Egypt, uh, we have had uh, talks regarding supply and the shipment of wheat. 
and so this is the food grain diplomacy uh, we are it's a positive thing for india because in the crisis one we are providing the aid to the nations which need it and secondly sir i think it would also um, build a global image of india as a responsible nation uh, good that's all anjali yes uh, you had done your computer science in 2017 right. which particular area of computer science you like the most sir um the new and the emerging technology of uh, ai this is artificial intelligence and blockchain mm-hmm. oh yes sir at that time in computer science uh, did they introduce blockchain in 2017 um so we were not taught as a formal part of our syllabus mm-hmm. uh, but uh, while we were uh, into the college sir we were very curious and uh, through the various uh, Uh, seniors we got to know about the technology in college you say blockchain was already known that time so when not you were in a, college um, so not at a very um, large scale mm-hmm. but uh, so we did read about certain oh, okay i will tell papers. you something which you must have known at that point of time yes sir not blockchain unix right sir ha uh, unix uh, what is unix sir um, unix is an operating system mm mm-hmm. um just like windows what's not popular or do you think it is popular and only i don't know no sir is it popular sir it is not as uh, popular and commercialized as we use like windows and mm-hmm. microsoft um mm-hmm. why it's not popular sir, who is using it sir mostly the security purposes i think and for no. programming sir yeah, it's coding the main computers are using it okay sir thank you sir okay. uh, whereas uh, windows is popular for everyone else mm, then the main thing okay uh, you talked about blockchain yes sir suppose you have to explain in three four sentences only mm. uh, just tell me what is blockchain there are two terms one is block one is chain okay. and putting them together is blockchain is it not yes i now explain sir um, to describe it simply um, it's like the different uh, blocks of information like a linked list mm-hmm. uh, where one block has certain information recorded in it then mm-hmm. there's a second block if i want to add it then mm-hmm. the first block will have the address and all the information of the block to be added after it mm-hmm. so if i am trying to make any changes the entire system and the network must approve those changes and only then i'll be able to add the suppose new suppose i talk in terms of bitcoin then what will the block hold sir one it would be the um the value of the bitcoin mm-hmm. and uh, the node of the computer that mm-hmm. that bitcoin belongs to okay or uh, tell me uh, sri lanka is in turmoil let me say uh, at least what i understand there is a turmoil there yes sir do i see some opportunity there for india which is the opportunity <laughs> we should immediately grab sir um i think uh, one opportunity for india um in the crisis would be to um become more close to sri lanka uh, because we saw that china making inroads and getting mm-hmm. closer how do we do that sir um first in the short term by providing them the line of credit which we already have uh, mm-hmm. we have provided them with diesel and uh, essential food supplies mm-hmm. rice as well and sir in the long term uh developing the infrastructure the trinko mali project which we had and sir mm. also the east container terminal why we had not we... gone ahead with trinko mali project sir uh there were delays that's all sunos yes are you a, like a domicile of mp or ma'am domicile of domicile of yes, and your parents live in mp yes ma'am okay so on the whole we think you are a very bright and promising candidate and you have a good personality and you are an engineering graduate we all know so you can apply that knowledge to the field also we feel that and you are very mentally alert and capable in my assessment and sir will also add ha sir bataiye very very good candidate थैंक यू 
twice from my side. Just improve upon whatever qualities you have already. I, I didn't find any negative which I can point out. Yes, sir. So, Anjali, uh, what is your assessment today? Sir, um, I think it was it was good, but uh, I could have like uh, known few certain certain things. Like, uh, so like the dark web part and the uh, sub and sir asked me about uh, what subjects did I read and you speak louder. So the Unix systems I had read, but I was not able to immediately recall. In, in our times also we used to think why Unix is not popular, so, but I was not able to recall, I was answering there. No, you have done very well Anjali and I remember having seen you last year also. Yes sir, we had an online session. So, uh, how, how, how much did you get last time? Sir, um, I got 149. Why? Sir, um, uh, there was nothing wrong that went in the interview, but right. um, I really don't know the reason. Sir. Uh, you don't know the reason? Sir, I think in the first um, initial part of my interview, um, when chairman sir asked me. Uh, Who was the chairman? Uh, sir, Dr. Manoj Soni, sir. Manoj Soni. Yes, sir. And uh, sir, I was wearing a um, sari that was having certain tribals printed on it, because uh, probably I wanted to represent Madhya Pradesh. Oh. So, okay. I, I really you don't should know not have reason. done that. That's one. What else? And, uh, he tried to probe me on that um, more and more and uh, after that it went smooth. Um, lastly, they asked me the philosophy of my life and so there um, I could not give a very um, good uh, like impressive answer. I kept it very simple and said sir to be happy and to have good food and uh, they had a good laugh but uh, probably I could have taken it to some philosophical aspect word like something more deeper, that inspired more deeper. me. Yes. So, uh, I don't know what may have happened, but your assessment about that interview holistically and today's, how do you compare? Sir, um, today I feel there were uh, at least one or two highs in my interview. Like no, no, just overall. It was, if that was good, this was very good. If that was average, this was good, or if that was good, this was average. What is your assessment? Sir, if I would call that as um, an average interview, I think uh, today was at least average plus uh, 15. A little 20, better than yes. before. No, you did very well. And how much marks, uh, how many marks did we give you in the mock last year? Do you remember? Sir, around 60, 65 percent. 65. So, I mean, other members are definitely different, but we have uh, given you more than what you got last year in mock. So there is no reason, uh, uh, Anjali, that you should not get good marks this time. So don't go with the, you know, with that uh, load of not getting good marks in the last interview. This is what was my intention to know all these things. You, know? you generally, you know, get uh, 149. I do know. Manoj Sini na ajaye phir se, hai na? Don't have those worries. You have done very well. You are very well informed. You are well informed then also. And you, saadi ka dhyan rakhiye ga, ma'am aapko samjhayengi, lady chairperson hai aaj aapke saamne. Saadi pehne ya? Pehne laga li ke idhar udhar jahan bhi lagana hai. Yes. You know. Nahin, she wore saadi but wo keh rahi hai, mene wo Madhya Pradesh ki saadi pehne. Tassar, tassar. Aapne tassar pehna ta? Ma'am, uh, it was Kosa silk, but it had some tribals uh, printed so on kya? it. So, what did you do? No, no, ma'am. It was pointed out. What did you do? What did you do? Sir, it was pointed out. Sir, pointed no, out. sir no. told me the first question that what are you wearing today? Mm -hmm. And I, I replied, sir, it is uh, Kosa silk. He said, no, no, I am asking about the uh, design art, that art, art that you are wearing. And why are you wearing it? So probably he was trying to connect it with my paint, hobby of gone paintings. Oh. But I think I missed out there. I don't know, sir, if I should be wearing the similar kind of print or. You wear plain sari pen. Plain. Be be just like you know normal. normal. Just say sir, वैसे आप. Don't stand out. Don't try to stand out separate. कि मेरे से इस बारे पूछे. You know. Yes, sir. I mean, I would have also got this impression. So it catches the attention. 
दिखाने के लिए कि मैं मध्य प्रदेश से बहुत कमिटेड हूँ और लाइक ये गॉन पेंटिंग वो गलत जाता है पर्सनैलिटी एकदम से और वही मार्क्स कटे हैं आपके जानकारी रखिए बट इमोशन नहीं प्लेन साड़ी पहनी है और पिन विन लगा लीजिए ताकि चलने में दिक्कत ना हो आराम से चलिए नो एग्जिबिशन exhibitionism of any kind yes. whether your hobby whether your state it makes you sectarian regional yes. right to wohi usne mark saate hai aapke ha sir anjali yes so i was looking for an inquisitive person as a science, uh, person from computer science i was looking whether you are inquisitive or not is nothing to do with unix linux or whatever whether inquisitive or not But then I find you not uh, enough inquisitive. Had you been so, then you would have known about Unix. Okay, so that is what I was looking for. Again, I was looking for in blockchain, uh, which was not very correct for you to say that when I was in college, I was looking at blockchain. Mm. Okay, sir. You know why? I need not to elaborate on that. But then uh, it was good that you know something about blockchain. Know something more. Why? Because people have ready questions for that. A ready question should have ready answers. Okay. Okay. Like when we talk of blockchain, then there are four categories, four types. Mm. Then give example. Like currency, mm. whatever cryptocurrency is there. Mm. Then in cryptocurrency, I ask that which are the four or five items which will be stored in the block mm. that you should know because. You are from computer science. Okay, okay. Others may not uh, not know. Uh, Indian foreign service is your second option. Yes, Therefore, India and its neighbourhood becomes very important. Yes, and Sri Lanka is an important neighbour as on today, yes, where we should look look for the opportunity. Yes, okay. Sir. Another area. Uh, when is your interview? Uh, sir, May thirteen. May thirteen. Yes, sir. Hmm. So, uh, whatever you see. This is a season of uh, foreigners coming to India. Yes, sir. Uh, one after another, people are coming. So around that time, whosoever is there, yes, and uh, whatever visit is there, mm. what are the you know, agenda? What are the outcomes? Okay. What is the give and take that you prepare yes, that sir. time? Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Love, Anjali. I think you will do best, very well. Yes. Don't worry about sari. If tribal, be careful. Don't wear. 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 अच्छा डिजाइन लगता है वो लोग हाथ से पेंट करते हैं अच्छा लगा बट आप प्लेन पहनिए झंझट ही नहीं है प्लेन ग्रीन प्लेन ब्लू प्लेन हाँ बॉर्डर भी पहन लो व्हाइट पहन लो जैसा आपका अच्छा थोड़ा प्रैक्टिस कर लीजिए ना चलने फिरने की बिकॉज इट डिफिकल्ट समटाइम्स और वो जो साड़ी मैडम जिस दिन साड़ी पहने आप ना उस दिन तो मैडम उस मेरे ख्याल से दो दिन पहननी चाहिए उसको पहले ताकि ये ना लगे आपको उस दिन एकदम थोड़ा सा भी ऑकवर्ड लगेगा तो आपको बेड विल इम्पैक्ट होता है पता चल जाए मम्मी से पूछो कहाँ पिन लगाऊं बल्कि यू पीपल वेयर दिस स्ट्रेस ना इसलिए ये लड़की अभी फॉरेस्ट सर्विस में ज्वाइन किया है दैट वी गोस्ट इन जामिया अभी फॉरेस्ट सर्विस में ज्वाइन किया है देखो एक सिंगल कलर का साड़ी पहना है अच्छा लग रहा है ठीक है और ये इसको उस दिन साड़ी पहनना नहीं आता था तो मैं बोला कि नहीं आएगा घर में बात करो डिस्कस सुंदर पहना है और अच्छा हुआ है और इसी को मैंने देखा हाँ आगे कुछ नहीं इसके पहले फॉर पी सी एस यू स्टूड फर्स्ट in UP. Oh, very first good. in up then uh, second coaching same yeah. jamia then uh, she is now in forest service very good so aap bhi aa jayenge agle saal aisa kitna anni jab bhi result aata hai ek do mock to aap karenge na yes sir with that to aap usi saree mein jo aap upsc mein pehnenge na usi saree mein ja ke mock 
कोई एक्सप्रेशन नहीं है मतलब ये आपको कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी में नहीं डाल रहे हैं जी जी है की कौन सा ब्लॉक प्रिंट है कौन सा नहीं प्रिंट है सिंगल कलर तो योर पर्सनैलिटी विल कम आउट मच मोर देन दी ब्लॉक्स विच आर देयर ब्लॉक से ऊपर उठकर के मेरी अपनी पर्सनैलिटी निकलना ठीक है ओके थैंक यू